All right, so it's uh, that time of the year again. And for those who don't know what that time of the year means, it means uh, it's our top three, our top three favorite games. And uh, I have the duty of uh, giving you my top three games and I'm going to start with The Division. Even though I did not enjoy playing The Division at the very beginning of the launch, uh, the game had many, many, many flaws. Many, 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 many. Did I say many? Too many? Yeah, there are many flaws. And I did not like playing it on a co uh, on console because I just can't handle uh, shooters on, on on, on two sticks. Uh, I recently made the jump, the jump to PC and with all the recent changes they made, the game is just unbelievably good. I love it and I would recommend it to anybody. My second game would be uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided and I do not say that because I am completely biased and I actually work on that game. I say that because I actually enjoyed that game even though I spent good a good part of the year working on it. I know the game from A to Z and I waited a little bit before starting it to starting to play it because you know I had all the nightmares of QA imprinted on my memory. But the game is pretty solid. Uh, continues the story of Adam Je of beloved Adam Jensen. Even though I never asked for that, I would recommend it to anybody. And uh, my third game of the year is going to be Enter the Gungeon. I'm known for being a lover of uh, roguelike games such as The Binding of Isaac, who I have a close to 500 hours on Steam. For everyone that loves roguelike games, uh, I still recommend that one. And uh, that is my top uh, my top three of the year, 2016. Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe.